Okay, so Dyson screws. Dyson screws are a really interesting concept. You could enclose a star and capture all of its energy. But when in the sort of original description of the Dyson sphere, it sort of said that, well, we know that they're not possible to make, but it'd be cool if they were. And all of the talk around Dyson sphere seems to assume that they're possible to make. And, but sort of disregarding this original fact, uh, when they were first brought up, that they were that they are impossible. So, and then we see um, uh, recent uh, studies where they've gone and started looking for them. But even the original person that proposed them said they're not possible. So, so what's going on here? <laughs> okay, so. So why would they not be possible? So this would have to do with orbital mechanics. So for one, um, orbits aren't circular. Um, they are egg-shaped. And so if you're Proposing that you're enclosing a star with some big mega structure, how can it orbit the star if it has to move in this like egg shaped way? So Okay, so we're thinking about like, okay, well, what is, <laughs> what is an orbit, and why did, why is it egg shaped to begin with? So, if I take a ball and I throw it, there's going to be a point where the ball peaks, and then it's going to fall to the ground. But then, if you imagine the ground's not there, and the ball keeps going. And instead is orbiting around something, then you have the one point where it peaks, and then instead of hitting the ground, it keeps going, and then it goes around, and it has to have another sort of peak to the arc to come back around, but since all of the energy in the throw of the ball was at the beginning, then that, <laughs> that arc is sharper, and when you come back around, since you've lost energy, now the arc is wider, and so you have your apogee and your perigee, or, <laughs> which are confusing because they're different words depending on what you're orbiting. Which I probably got those words wrong, but anyways, um, so we have this egg-shaped orbit because of the way that um, the object is accelerating and how the, the uh, how it changes in acceleration of it um, has to be pulled around in roughly a circle, but it ends up being egg-shaped. Okay. So, so if you have an individual object orbiting, this is fine, and you can just follow this path. Like a ball, it can just uh, be sharp at one point and then come be uh, smooth in the next. Um, bottom part of the curve. Um, 
now if you're trying to build, you're trying to build a, a even just a ring. How does the orbital mechanics of that work? So, you'd probably assume to have some sort of similar thing where you'd have to have like the one point that's sharper and the one point that's not as sharp to get your egg shape, but it also has to ha be in motion, right? And so would it just be like a static egg shape, like spinning around, or would it actually have to flex? I can't really illustrate this very well, and like move, flex the shape itself. And this is a huge construction challenge. If we're if we're just doing one ring, because that's but then if we're, if we're trying to make that then into a sphere, and now that is rotating, and would there be like? Um, like centrifugal forces sort of stretching it out and making it want to come apart because it's it's all connected and spinning around, right? It's like you're um, a bunch of people dancing and holding their arms in the middle and spinning around in a circle. You all want to come apart. And so it seems like the structure would want to pull itself apart more than stay... In orbit, so it has to be quite flexible. Okay, so it means that if if they were possible. Um, Having them be a one solid object seems impractical to me. So if you have, if you look at like Saturn, um, and it has these rings, well, it already, it already has a ring, sort of orbiting it, but it's all particles, it's blocks of ice or whatever, and so. If you were to try to capture the energy from a star, you would have to be broken down like this. I don't think you would be able to capture 100% of it, either of any like spectrum, like the like visible light or, or whatever. Um, they're pretty cool to think about. 